Hello, everyone. In keeping with the prevailing social distancing imperative, I'm coming to you today from my home office. As we reach the midpoint of our first week of remote learning and teaching, I want to take a moment not only to thank you, but also to reflect on why we should all be proud of what the UMass Amherst community has accomplished under these difficult circumstances. Over a year ago, when we launched our campus strategic plan with a call to be revolutionary, I couldn't have imagined the extent by which we would be tested today. To be revolutionary is grounded in our campus's longstanding ethos of innovation, creativity, and commitment to social justice. We are pioneers, builders, and unconventional doers, committed to the relentless pursuit of progress. Given the extraordinary challenge we now face, we find ourselves drawing upon these distinctive strengths more than ever. In just a week's time, our faculty have transformed their classes for remote delivery. Our staff have worked tirelessly to ensure the continuity of essential campus operations. Our students have displayed a determination and ability to adapt that reminds us all why they are UMass Amherst students in the first place. And even as that immense collective effort was underway, we've come together to make contributions to the broader community response to the COVID-19 crisis. I witnessed our staff gather medical equipment to donate to healthcare workers and deliver meals to area children in need. I have seen the impact of UMass faculty expertise from biostatistician Nicholas Reich's flu forecasting research being shared with the White House Coronavirus Task Force to learning technologist Tori Trust's research, helping others in higher education transition to remote learning. I have been truly inspired by our students who throughout this disruption have asked all the right questions, such as, how do we ensure the health and safety of ourselves and our communities, and particularly our most vulnerable members? How do we stay on our path to a degree while managing all of this change? And how can we become a part of the solution to this crisis? These are certainly trying times, and our resiliency will be further tested. But I'm heartened by the revolutionary spirit that defines this great university, and I'm confident its students, faculty, staff, and alumni will see us through these challenging times, and we will be stronger for it. Thank you again for your continued support. Please take care of yourself, and go UMass!